Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! I, I am super excited because on uh, this particular episode, this very special episode, we have from uh, Just Insert Imagination, we have none other than Eric Lamoureux. How are you doing, Eric? <laughs> doing great. How's it going, Dr. Tom? Oh, man, I I'm hoppy, like like a room without a roof, or, or one of those American IPAs. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, okay, now, now, uh, now, your company just insert imagination. Recently, you've been you've been releasing a line of of setting supplements called the uh, Slap Sites. Is that some kind of cure for blindness? <laughs> uh, that'd be great if uh, I could cure that. But no, it's it's much more low key. I would say, yeah. Oh well, well what is it? It's a kit for GMs, really, to uh, insert a backdrop into their campaign or uh, a one-shot game. So it's it's one location, and then uh, we give you uh, the description of that location, a map, a cast of character uh, that you can use. Uh, you could use them as pre-gen characters or NPCs uh, in that location. And then a bunch of story twists, how you can use that location to, um, to make it more interesting, really, to turn this into an adventure, uh, investigation, a mystery, whatever. So we give you eight of each, eight uh, cast members, and then eight twists, eight or nine twists, and then a bunch of props. I mean, do you like props, Dr. Tom? I do love props. I, I love them to death. Now, Rogers was talking about the pizza joint that you made. It actually has a menu. Is that right? Yeah. We thought it'd be great that if if your group goes to that location, for the GM to actually have a menu to show to the players to, uh, you know, make a connection, make them feel like they're part of the setting in some way. So, uh, Mornay is a great graphic designer that's what he does is his day job uh he he made that and looks great a lot of people are telling us it looks just like a like a real menu <laughs> oh oh yeah it did i, I actually say i was i was a little hungry disappointed that there were you couldn't pick any uh pizzas with with flies on them though that the little note for future well those are in the back near the dumpster <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good note. I, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so, so I um, I, what is next in Snap Sites? Is it, maybe have you ever thought about doing a pond? I could consult with you if you if you need someone to talk about ponds. That'd be a great idea, actually. I mean, we've we've got a a few ideas. Uh, uh, next one is going to be uh, on an airplane. So we're going to put you in a seat on an airplane. And so we're working on that, writing it, and thinking of good props for it. Is there anything you'd like to see as props on an airplane, Dr. Tom? Well, I, I, you know, my first thought that comes to the mind is snakes. But, but I'm thinking frogs. Frogs on a plane? We can make that happen. That, that'd be a hit. I think so, yeah. But what, what is that map of back there? Uh, that's Rassilon. It's a world for the Alfrost RPG for Savage Worlds. Oh yeah, you've got you, now. Just insert imagination. You guys have a supplement. It's called a Wintor Eternal. I think that that's why it's called. That's a setting for Savage Worlds too. We are a uh, licensee. So Morne last year released uh, the core book, the setting book for Winter Eternal. Which is, you know, I'll dis I describe it as a fantasy setting, but imagine the sun exploded, and now it's really difficult to survive. It's still there. It's still an amber in the sky, but uh, the world is really cold. And five, about 500 years later, people have learned to survive on this world, on Alarak, and have come up with a bunch of technology and magic to 
help them survive. So Wasteland is a, a source book, another book that goes deeper into what it takes to survive out there and a whole a brand new adventure uh, that, I, uh, that I wrote for it. Uh, so we're pretty excited about it. We worked on it for months and finally it's out. That's cool. That's cool. Now, so in this one, do you actually waste lambs like little sheep? <laughs> they wouldn't last long, but maybe like Luke open them up and then use their warmth to survive. Just kind of cuddle inside them. Oh man, that would be great. I would love to have a lamb uh, sleeping bag. That would be fantastic. Yeah, it'd be it'd, yeah, it'd be warm, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, so I, I gotta say, this wintery tarnal, uh, it doesn't sound very hospitable for amphibians. I don't imagine there are a whole lot of frogs there, are there? No, but there, there's a race called the uh, Machilians, and they're maybe your distant cousins. They look like chameleons a little bit. So a race of, yeah, and they, they don't like the cold. No, they, they prefer to stay in the cities. Uh, near the fireplace where it's warmer. Nice, nice. I, I'll have to hang out with some Achilles, although that does remind me of like a, you know, like a beer. It sounds like a beer. <laughs> Maybe they brew good beer. That that would be true in my campaign world of Wintour Eternal. That definitely for, for sure would happen. Yeah, you make it your own. That's what's great about it, you know? Now, okay, okay, all right. So wastelands and then snap sites. You got a lots of cool stuff working. I think. Uh, I think now, though, it is time for a serious question. Are you ready for a serious question, Eric? Uh, no, but go ahead. All right. Now, this was somewhat related to another game uh, that you have out called Forget About It. So, so now I'm going to ask you, who who do you like better and why, Don Corleone or Tony Soprano? Uh, Corleone. How come? I like his presence better than uh, uh, Soprano. Yeah. Ah, cool, cool. Okay. Well, Eric, I really appreciate you coming on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show to tell us about uh, a Just Insert Imagination. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. You just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs> <laughs>